This is Lisa Cohen with Microgrid Knowledge, and I'm here with Katie Sidwell of RTDS Technologies. Hi, Katie. Hi, Lisa. Can you tell me a little bit about your company and what you do for people? Sure. Uh, RTDS Technologies is a provider of real-time simulation equipment, uh, which has been around for about 25 years. Typically, it was used more in the transmission sphere, but it's becoming more and more commonly used uh, in distribution and particularly in microgrids. Um, with a real-time simulator, you can test hardware, whether that's uh, a microgrid controller or a DER controller or a protective relay. You can test it in a closed loop with the simulated network. So it allows you to de-risk microgrid control systems uh, and protection systems prior to deploying them in the grid. So there's a lot of value here for, uh, for people who are implementing microgrids uh, and there's a lot of uncertainty and this kind of testing tool uh, removes that uncertainty. So by de-risk, you're saying that you can do a couple of dry run-throughs and see how it goes. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, typically there's some offline testing done, so fully simulated testing mm -hmm. in which you can't actually test the real hardware. Uh, and then they go to commissioning on site where they might run things once or twice. Uh, but doing hardware in the loop testing in the lab is really a way to shorten that commissioning time mm -hmm. and also to impose grid conditions which might be impossible or dangerous to impose on the real uh, the real grid. So it's much easier for customers that way as well. And can you tell me, what are you showcasing here today? Yeah, so behind me is our real-time simulator, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, produced in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh -huh. So that's where I'm from. Uh, and we've connected it to a Schweitzer Engineering uh, real-time automation controller. Mm -hmm. So we're simulating the microgrid network in real time. We're sending signals from the power system to the Schweitzer device, and that device can make its control decision and interface its control action back into the simulated network. So we're showing closed loop testing of uh, microgrid control. In this specific uh, instance, we're doing load shedding control for frequency stability. Is this at a specific place when you say you're doing load shedding? Um, where is the load shedding, shedding happening? Good question. Uh, this is a, a simulation case that's based on a real industrial park in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, called the Banshee case. So it's this is just a demo. It hasn't actually been implemented, but it could be adapted for any microgrid industrial park uh, in the U.S. or elsewhere. So um, essentially, if there's a frequency event, the controller can shed non-critical loads uh, in order to balance the, the power and stabilize the frequency. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what gets you excited about microgrids? Yeah, um, this conference in particular is exciting because it's sort of a blend of technical and more regulatory and policy aspects. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really exciting because uh, for me, being in the more technical sphere, it's really important to be able to hear you know, what the upstream challenges are uh, because that affects us significantly uh, mm -hmm. downstream in the, in the design and deployment. Um, but yeah, I mean, microgrids are so complex, so much potential for innovation, uh, and they're, they're new and novel. So it's exciting, um, often many different technologies operating together. Uh, so that's, that's what's really cool about microgrids. All right. Well, thank you.